Hi guys, this is John from Aptitude Reviews. Today we are reviewing um, an app called Snap Swipe Drawer. It's actually a, a shortcut app for all your widgets and uh, app shortcuts you don't want to put on your home screen. Now, um, I like my home screen relatively slim with, uh, with um, widgets, so I have the Google date and uh, weather widget with a little Google icon and my most used apps in the desktop and I also have a calendar and that's it. So what about all the other cool widgets that we want to have um, on our phone, right? Um, but we don't want to waste that space, that precious space on the home screen itself. So this is where Snap Swipe uh, comes in handy. Basically, once you install, it's an it's a free app that you can install. But uh, if you pay extra, like a buck or two, you get the possibility to add more widgets. I'll show you in a second what I mean. Um, but basically, once you install it from the Play Store, if you swipe from the top right corner down you'll have a drawer with all the widgets that you configured um, laid out in a nice little order. So, you, for example, when I drive to work, I like to listen to podcasts or uh, to music on my device. So I have the uh, power amp uh, widget over here and a podcast addict widget over here. I'll do a review on those um, two. Now I have the uh, um, SoundHound widget. If I want to uh, know what um, song is playing, and also the Yatze widget, which I'm gonna make a review on in the next few days. And I have the shortcuts to my most used apps, which is. Uh, a Telegram, WhatsApp, FOTMOB, and Series Guide. We, FOTMOB and Series Guide, I did a review already. Uh, you can uh, check it out. And WhatsApp, I'm sure that everyone want, knows what's, what's WhatsApp. And Telegram, well, it's a WhatsApp on steroids. So, um, um, basically, the free app allows you to install four different widgets uh, at most, I paid uh, and got to have a little more widgets. Now, the, the downside of this is that if you install more than four widgets, it's gonna, gonna scroll and it's a bit messy. Um, so I don't like to overload this with widgets, but um, I really, really like this app. It's a really nice addition. Um, it's, it's a just sim the simplicity and the usefulness of this app is all that it matters. Now, if you can want to configure which widgets are are showing, then you click on this uh, little um, wheel, and you get all these uh, widgets that are currently installed on your uh, your phone. This these actually are the widgets that I configured on the the app. Now, if you click on this plus button you have all the widgets available to you from all the apps on your phone. You know, you can have different uh, widgets depending on your uh, current phone and apps that are installed. And you can also have apps. So as you saw uh, down below, you'll I have four apps. You can also, you know, just place an app shortcut to, to launch a specific app uh, relatively fast. So, for example, if you want your uh, camera, you can do that, or your phone, or whatever you want. So, um, let me just show you how you can add an, a, a widget. So, I'll just select something that you probably all have, which is the Google app. So, I'm just going to select it, and it's going to be added down here. Now, if I take, if I swipe down, I have the the Google widget down here, which is nice. It fits. This is a good example where it actually fits 
the the screen let me show you something that it doesn't fit so I'll remove the widget that I just added and I'll head, hit the plus sign and just select some bigger widgets so for example this uh, business calendar 2 widget I'll hit the save button and then when I swipe down uh, you can see it's, it has a small little um, uh, swipey how do you say scrolling um, motion here this is I found that sometimes it's hard to uh, dismiss when you have this scrolling thing or if you want to get to the top widget um, so just I try to minimize the, the list so it fits the screen on the phone that I currently have um, this is it basically uh, thanks to Francisco Barroso which is the developer um, I think it did an awesome job kudos for that and I'll see you guys in the next one.